Hi, my name is Olivia Brennan. I am 14 years old. I am a ninth grader and I go to Voorhees High School. I have been in 4-H for eight years and I am part of the Hunterdon County 4-H group, No Goats, No Glory. My family has been raising goats since 1980. Today the title of my film is Capreen Ladies in Waiting, How to Take Care of Your Goats During Their Pregnancy. As a disclaimer, we have a family farm and this is how we take care of our animals. We breed on an average of 21 does a year and this video is based on how we take care of our ladies in waiting. We are very thorough when deciding on our breeding plan since every year we breed to perfect the breed. Inside our breeding plan, we also work with a gestation calendar. A gestation calendar determines a due date for your goat. Nigerian dwarfs have a gestation period of 145 days. Full-sized dairy goats have a gestation period of 150 days. In their first two months of gestation, their diet stays the same as if they weren't bred. We feed a good quality second cut grass hay and dairy challenger 20% protein goat feed. From the third month on as the kids are developing, the does need more fuel, which they will get from additional grain and protein from the product we use called shaf hay. Always provide free choice minerals. If worms are an issue, it is safe to worm after day 100 of gestation with a pregnancy safe wormer, such as Ivamect. 30 days prior to due dates, the doe should receive a CDT booster. When dairy clipping your goat, you want to make sure you shave all around their udder and fore udder, as well as the sides of their legs and their tail. This allows there to be less mess when they kid. At this time, your goat's udder should be completely filled and easier to clip, unlike Ava's, since she is not due for a few weeks. Once you have felt their ligaments disappear, then you can put them into a clean kidding stall. In our kidding stalls, we make sure to have a heat lamp and a water bucket. Both of these are tied up to a safe distance. 